Hi Virgo, welcome to Angel Love 333. Hope everybody is doing well. A couple things here before we start your reading. This is your mid-month reading, uh, May 15th through the 31st. Please know that timing can be flexible. Also, everything you need to know is in the description box. Uh, there will be an extended reading link below. If this reading resonates with you, you can check it out. I will uh, talk about uh, your person, what they're thinking, feeling, their upcoming actions, love notes, and guidance. Um, and then also you can follow me on TikTok and Instagram. All of that info is below. So with that, Virgo, let's just get started with your reading. Okay, so we pulled two cards here from the um, Spirit Animal Oracle deck. What do we have here? Okay, so we have here um, number 14, which is five, the Chameleon Spirit. This is Act As If. And we have number 24, which is six, uh, which is the electric eel spirit, bring your ideas to life. Okay. So there's a progression here. You have five and you have six here. Um, you know, if you reduce the numbers here, but the energy that I get is that Virgo, you may be feeling in a place of limbo in a situation. Okay. Um, with the electric eel, I feel that there is going to be some sort of change, um, something here that takes you out of limbo. Now, new ideas here can be a lot of different things, okay? It could be, right, somebody here coming into your life, whether it's somebody you know or someone uh, new. I feel here, too, it can be the idea of, of you maybe putting yourself out there, right? Maybe uh, dating new people. Um, it can be ideas on how uh, to change things, okay? We're going to see what this is about. It could be your person here too, okay? You feeling in limbo, right? Um, and somebody here bringing something to the table, so to speak. We'll see what it is. We're going to we're going to pull a couple of major arcana cards. We're going to see what they are. Okay, we have the high priestess here. Oh, I pulled two. Okay, two came out. We have the Emperor and we have the Fool card. Okay, and look what's on the bottom of the deck. We have the world. So there is going to be some sort of shift, some sort of change. I'm going to say here with the Chameleon Spirit, I feel also it's an energy of kind of going with the flow um, as well, right? And you have the High Priestess here. <clears throat> So I feel like, like I said, it's kind of that place of limbo. You're kind of, you know, you're not really too sure, you know, what's going on. Maybe feeling that somebody here is being uh, secretive. You know, that's, those are for those people that there is somebody here that you know. Um, but I also get here too, it's that energy of you kind of not really taking any action right going with the flow um and maybe this is what your wisdom and your intuition is telling you at this time okay so we'll see here i feel there's a transition here now you have the emperor i want to say you have strong uh pisces cancerian you have strong aries here with the emperor and you have the full card okay bring your ideas to life i feel here with the emperor okay <clears throat> And, and the full card. You may be taking some risk, some sort of a leap of faith, okay, here um, towards someone, <clears throat> right? This could be the ideas. Uh, this could be t about you taking control and, you know, like I said, maybe putting yourself out there, maybe uh, trying something new when it comes to love. This also could be your person, right, coming towards you, wanting to take that risk, that leap of faith. So let's pull the tarot. Let's see what all of this means or how it relates. So let's see what the energy is here for Virgo. What's the energy here for Virgo? Okay. There's your energy right in the center of the reed, Virgo. There you are. Okay. All right, so I see communication here from somebody. 
I feel like there's a decision here you're going to have to make Virgo or I do see possibly here somebody here uh, returning okay you have the transformation card so we have strong Scorpio energy we have a strong Virgo energy we have Aquarius Libra Gemini Aries Leo Sag on the board okay so there is some sort of change here all right there's a new beginning a transformation uh, some of you it's going to be in the direction of possibly here exploring um, a new situation and some of you I feel here this is somebody returning we'll know more as we clarify some of these cards <clears throat> but in the recent past you do have the ace of earth okay so an energy here, I feel like maybe you were waiting for some sort of communication. For some of you, like I said, maybe you're taking that risk, that leap of faith towards something new, okay? But we'll clarify. We'll see what that's about. In your foundation, you have the page of air, okay? This is what's holding things together, or it can be somebody new that's entering your life. But I, I, I kind of feel like this is somebody here you know, right with this page of um, fire it's right page of fire yeah an Aries Leo or a Sagittarius communication here in the center of your read like I said we have your energy here the hermit okay but also an energy here I feel like you're trying to go within right trying to listen to your intuition here as the high priestess as well right you're not it feels like an energy there's not a whole lot of movement going on uh, in your love life right now or you are just not really doing anything okay you're, you're kind of doing that soul searching here finding uh, your own wisdom and intuition right and some of you like I said are taking control right towards some sort of new beginning but we'll see here as we go through it now I do see here with the aid of air okay it feels like somebody here in the situation is definitely doing a lot of thinking about this feeling stuck okay i feel like it's you virgo right with the energy here i feel like you're feeling stuck here in the situation okay now let's see what we have here we have the call card okay so you're going to get some sort of call i feel okay and um i'm gonna i'm gonna say some of you it could be um a new person coming into your life some of you, <clears throat> excuse me, it could be, um, you know, a new person come into your life that gives you that wake up call, right? Leads you in a new direction. And some of you, I feel this is somebody here from your past showing up. Okay. We do have Mercury retrograde. Uh, you know, when I'm filming this, it started yesterday. Okay. So the timing, uh, feels like this definitely could be somebody, you know, Right, somebody from your past that's returning. Let's see here why the Ace of Air is here, please. Why is the Ace of Air here, please? Three of Wands. Yeah, look at that. Ace of Wands. Yeah, this is about, look at that, Four of Wands. Okay, and the Ten of Cups. Exactly what I was feeling here. I feel like this is about you, um, you know, having the idea here of maybe putting yourself out there right opening up your opportunities maybe somebody new already came into your life okay well, it can be an indication right this may be this new person here but there's an energy here of somebody coming towards you a new beginning i feel this is a new energy i don't feel like this is the person from the past right it's either the idea of right the new ideas here you putting yourself out there looking at opportunities and uh, something that's going to lead here, right, to something, you know, happy, you know, stability here, possibly a family if you're wanting to have a family. Okay, so I feel like that is <clears throat> the energy here, right, of, of something you're looking for, a fresh start. Some of you may be looking for a fresh start with somebody here from your past waiting for this person, right, to communicate with you. You've got the Ten of Cups on the bottom of the deck as well. Okay, so I feel there's an energy here of you thinking about all of this, right? Maybe waiting for communication from somebody here and also flirting with the idea of, you know, new possibilities, uh, keeping your, your options open here, putting yourself out there. Um, the three of wands for me is also going with the flow, all right? 
going with the flow as well. Okay, let's see why the page of fire is here because I do see communication here from somebody. Ten of cups. Five of wands. Interesting. Two of cups. I have to pull one more. Double card. Okay, interesting. All right. The high priestess. Okay, so the one that you've been thinking about, okay, I'm going to say here, this is what I feel with this page of wands. This is the person you've been thinking about, right? The one maybe you've been in limbo with um, because this high priestess is showing up again. We have uh, the ten of cups. We have the five of wands. We have the two of cups and the double card. All right, so this is somebody I feel that is definitely some sort of temptation for you. I feel here as well. Um, this could be somebody here where the two of you may not have been on the same page, okay, around, you know, what that Ten of Cups looks like, you know, around commitment. Um, there could have been other interference, right? There could have been some drama around this connection, Okay, but I feel like you got somebody here and you got strong Capricorn energy. You got somebody here, I feel, I feel like this is somebody that you know, okay? We're going to see with this call card, okay? It's either a decision, right, or uh, around this person returning, okay? Or let's see what else we get here. <clears throat> so this may be that you're flirting with the idea. Maybe you have been dating, right, of new possibilities, or maybe you've just been waiting for, right, communication from this person. So let's see why the Eight of Air is here. There's some sort of worry here, okay, or feeling of, of being stuck. Ten of Pentacles. Ace of Cups. Okay, interesting. Knight of Cups. King of Swords here. I'm going to clarify the call card, okay, because I feel with this five of wands, this could be competition as well, or you're struggling because you're still thinking about somebody else here. Let's clarify the call card before I read the clarifications on these. Why is the call card here, please? Two of swords, oh boy. Chariot, Cancerian energy. Queen of Wands, oh boy, Two of Wands, okay, yeah, Five of Pentacles, all right. Okay, so Virgo, this is what I get, and I'm getting this in a lot of reads. I'm showing here in the near future, you have the Ten of Pentacles, the Ace of Cups, and the Knight of Cups. I feel there's a new person coming into your life, right? If you're opening up your options, if you're open to dating other people, right um you're looking towards new ideas as it says bring your ideas to life here if you're doing all of that there's a new person that's coming up here okay somebody i feel here that is uh making an offer here and it does look like it there is potential here but you have the eight of air here so it may be an indication maybe you're blocking yourself from new love, you know, maybe you're, um, you know, waiting for this person, but for others, it may be a situation where you're just not sure what to do, right? You're feeling stuck because I do feel like this other person, right, is showing up here with the call card, okay? And there's a decision here you're having to make. You have the two of swords, the chariot, and the, the queen of wands, and the two of wands. And this could be somebody, it doesn't have to be somebody recent. This could be somebody from your past that you know, maybe you knew years ago, maybe you were just friends, okay? Um, looking at this five of wands now, um, you know, it could be somebody maybe you just had a, a, a short fling with, I don't know. But there's an energy here of you having to make some sort of decision and it's a crossroads energy. I feel you're having to make a decision whether to be single, date other people, right? Move on from a past situation that's kept you stuck or, you know, kept you in a place where you, you've been thinking about it, 
you know, a lot. Um, you know, it definitely shows that there was, there was some sort of struggle here, right? Possibly here, something unhealthy. You could be dealing with somebody who has a lot of fears. The connection is there, but, you know, this could be someone who's keeping you stuck, right? I, I'm going to say here, there could be interference here. There could be other people. This people person could be entertaining other people because you do have the Five of Pentacles on the bottom of the deck as well. So this could be somebody who wasn't, uh, you know, seeing your worth here, right? Um, was playing around with other people. I'm just going to say I see that energy here. And I feel there's opportunity here for new, as it says, bring your ideas to life. Okay, so I feel like what they're saying here, that there is new love here. Things could change quite quickly here. Okay, the relationship you've been waiting for could be here. Okay, or you're waiting for this other person here. It could be a twin flame. So Virgo, I feel uh, you got an opportunity here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take it to the extended. We're going to pursue this uh, further. We're going to see what this person here has to offer. Uh, we're going to also look at new love and see where that is leading as well. So I hope to see you there, Virgo. I hope you all have a wonderful rest of the day or evening. And I'm sending you angel love.